Hello everybody, shalom, 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 shalom. Peace, blessings, prosperity, and safety and health to all of you this day. Hallelujah. I declare it so. The Bible says, whatever you declare and decree, it shall be. So on your life today, I am declaring and decreeing shalom, shalom, shalom. The peace of Yah, the blessings of Yah, the prosperity of Yah, the safety of Yah, and the health of Yah, in the mighty name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. We know, hallelujah, that weapons are formed against us, but they will not prosper in our lives because we're going to get some knowledge and understanding today. We're not going to be destroyed for the lack of knowledge, but we're going to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Hallelujah. We will not be only hearers of the word, but we're going to be doers of the word. I mean, believe it. Hallelujah. Because it is written. Yah wants us to have the best of the best. Hallelujah. Because we are the head and not the tail. We are above only and we're not beneath. We're blessed going in and we're blessed coming out. And everything we put our hands to do, it has to prosper. That is the promise of Yah to his people. It has to pro prosper. Hallelujah. So my question is, what are we putting our hands to do? Hopefully, we're putting our hands to eating the right types of food. So let's get started. If you haven't listened to Yah Superfoods Part 1, I'm going to ask that you go back and listen to it. I will put a link to that video so that you won't have to look for it. You can just click on the link and go directly to that video. I need you to listen to it because you will be empowered. So in uh, eating, we're either going to be overpowered or we're going to be empowered. Hallelujah. And I'd rather be on the side of being empowered that I have control than to be overpowered by these GMOs that they're trying to feed us. They're not trying. Hallelujah. I should say that they're feeding us. But it's up to us to purchase the correct foods or grow our own foods. Hallelujah. So this is Superfoods Part 2. And the word for this hour, the word of Yah for this hour is to purge. And we're going to look at some scriptures. Okay, we're going to look at the scripture today. Hallelujah. Mark 2 and 22. And in future videos, what I will do is I will put the Hebrew names for all of the books of the Bible. Hallelujah. And we'll, we'll, I'll have a lesson on that. But for today, we're just going to um, go with the names that are in the Bible, the King James Version is what I'm using today. I usually, usually use the Sefer, but today I'm using the King James Version. Hallelujah. So Mark 2 and 22. No one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins and both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins. So we see right here that the Most High want us to purge. He wants us to get off of the world's diet, or how I like to say it is the slave master's diet, hallelujah, and put in our bodies his superfoods, his foods that he has made for us, hallelujah. He wants our bodies to be healthy, hallelujah, and he wants our bodies to stay healthy, hallelujah. Do you, and I know you do, 
realize, hallelujah, that it's better, it's best for us to stay healthy than to get dis-ease our bodies out of sync with Yah. That's what dis-ease is. It's disease, but it's dis-ease because our bodies are out of sync with Yah. But if we eat according to Leviticus 11, we're going to um, stay healthy. We have to realize that even though something is written in the Old Testament, the Bible tells us that he's the same Yah today, yesterday, and forever. So what he said is going to stand even today. It's going to stand when heaven and earth pass away. Hallelujah. His word is the only thing that's going to last forever. Hallelujah. So let's get started down the path of superfoods too. Have you ever heard of the pussy willow tree? Well, there's another herb called willow herb, and it comes from the same family. So the bark of that particular tree contains natural steroids and natural flavonoids, and it helps with prostate health. So ladies, if you um, actually want your husbands to have a good prostate, you may want to introduce this to him. Now, keep in mind, I'm not telling anybody what to do or what not to do. If you follow any of the um, research recommendations in this video, you're at your own risk. I'm not a healthcare professional, I'm not a doctor, and I am not a nurse. What I am doing is sharing my research with you. Hallelujah. So if you want to use any of this research, it's at your own risk. So the research shows that one teaspoon of this herb, and I will put this in uh, below so that you can just go and purchase it um, with one cup of water and boil it for five to 10 minutes and drink it as hot as you can. And in the morning, you wanna drink it on the empty stomach. And at night, you drink it just before going to bed. It will help make sure that you have or your hubby has a healthy prostate. Another herb that you want to look into is nettle root powder. And it boosts, it boosts immunity. It's an estrogen blocker. Now, when we, um, when men have prostate problems, it's usually, the research has shown that it's an estrogen problem. There's too much estrogen in his body. Or when women has, they have, we have breast cancer, there's too much estrogen in our body. So this nettle root blocks estrogen. Okay, it's anti-inflammatory, it's antioxidant. It provides a cardio, positive effects on the cardiovascular system, and it stops hair loss. So if women or men are finding that they have um, some type of hair loss, you want to make sure you're using also a nettle root powder. When you purchase it, the directions will be on the box. Okay. Another root is maca powder. And this, root, uh, this, this particular uh, root is high in protein and carbs and rich in vitamin A. It has a lot of nutrients, including vitamin C, copper. It has copper. So we get gray hair because we're losing copper. Hallelujah. And it has iron in it. It also contains uh, many plant compounds. Hallelujah. It increases the libido in men and women, and it helps relieve symptoms of menopause. Maca powder. Now, if you're single, make sure that you're not using this maca, M-A-C-A -A powder. Like I said, I will put the, the, um, the spelling and the link so that you can just go out and purchase it if you choose to do that. I want to talk a little bit about breast cancer. Uh, my childhood neighbor had breast cancer, and I happened to see her a couple years ago, and her medical doctor told her what I'm getting ready to tell you, and he told her to drink burdock root tea. 
if she didn't want to get cancer again. So, um, verdict rot root tea comes from the family of a dandelion. So we, we see dandelions in our yards, right? And we call those dandelions weeds, but it really is not. Have you seen uh, cats or dogs who are sick, not feeling well? They usually eat the dandelions and what usually happens, they feel better, they get healed from the dandelions. Now, I'm not telling you to go out in your yard and pick dandelions out of that, right? But you can buy um, this burdock root tea in the health food store, hallelujah, and I will leave the link for you to do that as well. But my whole point in this is to telling you, is just to tell you that we've been lied to. We've been told that, that dandelions are weeds when they are not. So let's look at the next scripture, which is Job 9, 24. The earth has been given to the hands of the wicked. This is why the Most High will create a new heaven and a new earth, right? Because this earth is in the hands of the wicked and they're defiling the place. Hallelujah. Revelations 21 1 reads, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. So we see that there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. But the Gentiles taught us that actually. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to say this. The Dean Child taught us everything that we uh, know, basically, okay? But we can see that they told us that different herbs are weeds, and it's better to take medicine than herbs. And some of us grew up on these herbs, right? And um, But we switched to the world's way, to the Gentile's way. So let's look at Jeremiah 16, 19. Jeremiah 16, 19. We're going to look at that for a minute, and you can um, look at that in your own Bible. And it says, O Elohim, and when I'm saying Elohim, I'm using the Hebrew word Elohim instead of God. My strength and my fortress, my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come to you from the ends of the earth and say, and this is what they're saying, surely our fathers have inherited lives, worthlessness and unprofitable things. So if they have, the Gentiles taught us and they have inherited lives, then how much more have we inherited lives? Hallelujah, because during the times of slavery, even though some people learn how to read and write English because we were reading and writing Hebrew. That's our original language, Hebrew. Hallelujah. We're now in this phase where we're, we are relearning our original language because our language, our culture, our religion, everything was taken from us. Hallelujah. But if they taught us, which they did, the Gentiles, then we inherited what they inherited, which according to Jeremiah 16, 19, is lies. Hallelujah. So let me finish talking about this um, burdock root. Burdock root contains uh, different minerals, including magnesium, phosphorus, calcium, iron, and copper. It also so contains vitamin C, B6, and folic acid. According to traditional use, burdock root has been used in Europe dating back as far as the Middle Ages to treat various tumors. So what I do is I drink burdock root tea and I don't drink it every day, but I do drink it as much as I can. Hallelujah. Doesn't taste very good, but I drink at least one cup, two cups, so that I'm getting these minerals and these uh, different vitamins in my body. Now, our bodies were made up of different minerals, 94 of them, 
Exactly. So I want to make sure that I'm putting these minerals back into my body on a daily basis. Hallelujah. Our next superfood is Manuka honey. Now, it's spelled M-A-N-U-K-A, Manuka. It's made in Australia and New Zealand. That's where it's made from, the native Manuka bush. It acts like an antibiotic in your body. Now, I do not recommend you eating a lot of it because it is high in sugar. It's going to elevate your sugar. If you have diabetes, I wouldn't recommend this. Okay, but it does help with acid reflux. It helps treat acne. If you have acne, clean your face and put some Manuka honey on, on it. I actually um, was breaking out. I broke out on my arm um, from eating beef, whatever they're putting in beef. I can't eat it anymore um, because it breaks me out. And so I had these big welts on my arm. And what I did was I went and, and I got some Manuka honey and I put it on my, uh, on the whelps. And then overnight, um, it, the whelps went down. So I'm grateful for that. Um, uh, Manuka honey combats MRSA. It helps with burns and wounds and ulcers. It improves sore throat and it helps with allergies and it improves your sleep. So again, that's Manuka honey. Another, um, tea that I use is called red onion tea and I use the red onion tea and everything that I'm talking about is um, organic or non-GMO okay I use that uh, red onion tea to clean up my blood that's what it does it cleans up my blood I use the red onion not the white onion I never buy white onions I only buy red onion so what I do is I take the red onion um, peel it and then once I do that I cut it in half I put it in two cups of boiling water um, uh, two cups of water and I boil it for five to ten minutes and then what I do is I drink it as hot as I can so that it will purify my blood and I do that for 30 days when I want to cleanse my blood up from eating all of these different foods that we are subject to. Uh, red onions have vitamin B1 and B6. It has folic acid. It has chromium. It has calcium. It has vitamin C and vitamin K. So you want to make sure that you are actually um, eating or drinking some red onion tea and and you can do it as you know as often as you like because all of this is up to you if you want to follow the re research recommendations or not hallelujah we see in revelations 12 and 1 revelation 12 and 1 and they overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they love not their lives unto death hallelujah so i'm going to overcome hallelujah by the blood of the lamb and by the word of my testimony and we know that the blood was shed on calvary and the word of my testimony is keeping a positive uh testimony hallelujah not about me but i'm going to keep it about yah and that's going to reflect hallelujah on me because i live in his house i'm saved i live in his house so i follow his rules hallelujah now pumpkin seeds is another good source for us to munch on or have snacks with uh, as well as the goji berries that i talked about in ya superfoods part one now pumpkin seeds contain a wealth and of antioxidants i try to get pumpkin seeds in me at least two to three times a week okay it has vitamin c it has vitamin e it has beta carotene and it, it, it shows that it supports eye health so i want to make sure that that's in my diet hallelujah or in the foods that i eat on a weekly basis hallelujah glory
So we talked about the different superfoods that I have researched. And so now I have a question for you. Would you eat this? An animal that eats his own dead children. Mm. An animal that has worms. An animal that has sores. An animal that eats dead insects. An animal that eats worms. An animal that eats garbage. Would you eat that? An animal that eats garbage? How about an animal that eats dead people? Mm. How about an animal who has that has no sweat glands? Would you eat that? Because it can't. If it has no sweat glands, how are they getting out all these toxins that they're eating? Would you eat an animal that that eats his own feces and other species? Would you eat an animal that does not filter out toxins from any rotted foods, but it stays in the meat? Would you eat an animal that stores high level of toxins? Would you eat an animal that stores harmful substance in their fat? Would you eat an animal that eats venomous snakes, snakes like rattlesnakes, poisonous snakes? Would you eat an animal that use that they use that the world uses for pest control on golf courses? or even on farms. Hallelujah. Would you eat an animal that is a vacuum cleaner for farms? It just goes around cleaning, cleaning up all the farms, all the trash. Would you eat that? Would you eat an animal that will eat anything in sight? Well, you know, we are what we eat. And this animal, is called the pig. Would you eat that? Do you eat that? If you eat it, you're eating all the things that we discuss so far. Think about that. Make good decision. Hallelujah. I'm going to look at one more scripture. We're going to look at the last scripture for this lesson. Deuteronomy 14 and 8. The pig is also unclean. So this verse is letting us know that the pig is unclean and we should not be eating it. But it's also letting us know that there are other animals in the earth that are unclean and we should not be eating. Such as we don't eat rats and a mouse and we don't eat rattlesnakes. Hallelujah. So the pig is another animal that is unclean and we should not be eating. The pig is also unclean. Although it has a divided hoof, it does not chew the cud. You are not to eat their meat or touch their carcasses. So we have to decide whose diet are we going to be on. Are we going to be on the king's diet, which is life? Hallelujah. Are we going to be on the world's diet or the Gentiles diet, which is death? We have to choose. Hallelujah. Who are we going to serve? Is it King's way or is it the world's way? This is the word of Yah for this hour for us to purge out with the old ways of doing things, the old foods that we're eating, the old mindsets that we had, hallelujah, the slave master's diet, with the world's diet. But we have to learn, hallelujah, to eat properly the way the king told us to eat in Leviticus 11, hallelujah. So out with the old ways, and in with the new, this is how we get healthy and we get our breakthrough. I mean, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory.
I pray that this lesson has been a blessing to you, that it has opened up your eyes and your mind. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and comment. I would love to hear your feedback on both of these videos, Yah Superfoods Part 1 and Yah Superfoods Part 2. And I'm going to say shalom, 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 peace, blessings, prosperity, health, and healing unto you this day in the mighty name of Yahshua. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.